Look at the tercentenary stakes is next in. This is a 0 to 120 handicap. The top one is holding, folding. Joshua Sutherland, Militus for Tam King, stolen for Django, Rose Sword for Jim Murray, Cash in Your Chips for Joshua Sutherland, Rome Conquest for Paul Rhodes, Hefei Hasnonium for Vinnie Gerard, Loose Screw for Django, Sierra Bravo, Tam King, Whistletan, Jim Murray, Soiree, Vela Train for Darren Thompson, Cheesecake Carl Arrogante, Hefei Habitus for Vinnie Gerard, Royal Burr for Carl Arrogante, Mr. Bobby for Derek Hinton, Table King, Darren Howell, and Mr. and Mrs. for Derek Hinton as well. So 17 then for this one. And away we go. Some of these caught wide on the track will be struggling when they come down to the turns. And Cheesecake has got the railway and is in the lead. Right over on the far side, you can see. Sir Carla Agante's other horses pretty wide on the track. When he's got the lead with Cheesecake, Sierra Bravo is second. I think it's Rome Conquest is the ball road source that's really wide as well. But Cheesecake is the leader. To Mr. and Mrs. Second. Then Sierra Bravo. With Hefei Habitus after that one. Melitus is also really close up as well. Looking towards the back there. Hefei Hasnonium is the one really wide on the track. Looking at the back. Soiree Velotrain's got the rail, but he's going to need to come through a wall of horses to have any part play any part in the finish and Cheesecake sets the standard at the moment then in the lead on Rose Sword who's now just about gone second still giving ground away on the outside is Rome Conquest that one's going to need to go like a train once he gets into the straight but it's Cheesecake that's the leader Hefei Habitus has moved through in a second then Rose Sword Table King Rome Conquest after that Mr Bobby is also trying to get a little bit closer Soiree Vela Train is now looking for a split through and the one that's really wide on the track and has now got no chance at all is Royal Burr but it's Cheesecake who's the leader from Mr Bobby in second Melitus is now creeping through on the inside also caught with a run in the first mention is holding folded and that one now comes through to challenge for the lead you can see some of those ones really getting run out of the race Rome Conquest has got little chance from there as they hit the final two and a half furlongs and Hefei Abitus is now the leader Cheesecake on the inside holding folded on the outside these three have got it between them at the moment and Hefei Abitus looks to be going the best of the three Cheesecake still battling on the inside holding folded in the strong run as they come down towards the final furlong and it's Hefei Abitus Beaters in the lead from holding, folding second. Cheesecake and Mr. Bobby trying to run on. Suddenly, holding, folding drops that like a lightning. Hefire Beaters all on his own there. Racing up towards the line. Hefire Beaters being reeled in by Mr. Bobby. Hefire Features needs a line and gets it. Hefire Beaters is the winner. Cheesecake, Mr. Bobby, Sierra, Bravo, and Melitus. Royal Bird never got a look in really wide on the track. Similar story for Rome Conquest of one or two others. They lost the race before it even started. And Hefire Beaters takes it. I think is Vinnie Gerard, Mr. Bobby for Derek Hinton, Cheesecake for Carter Agansi. He'll be pleased with that one. Led pretty much most of the way and stuck on there for third. So Hefei Beaters for Vinnie Gerard wins it. Mr. Bobby off a featherweight for Derek Hinton was second. Cheesecake for Carter Agansi third. Sierra Bravo for Tam King was fourth, and Rose Sword for Jim Murray was fifth. <laughs>